Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy e -Bike Guy, and I got another good build video for y'all. And today we're going to be working on my son's bike, uh, e-bike kid. So we got the 20, 20 inch fat tire e-bike or bicycle. We're going to be converting it over to an e-bike. Um, and it's going to be one heck of an, an e-bike and everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and then show y'all what I'm talking about. So here it is. This is the 20 inch fat tire e-bike right here. That's we're going to be converting it to an e-bike. So if y'all haven't seen this already, this is um from Amazon. And this is the Electconi uh, 20 inch fat tire bike, you know, from Amazon. Uh, it retails for about um, $250. Um, I think the name of it is called the Nunu which is upside down but it's uh, the name of it is new new which is right here so what we're doing i just got the uh hub motor put on um i got to figure out the spacing for uh the caliber and the rotor i already um decipher the clearance from um the motor itself to the caliber so we have the clearance on that and i have the torque arms what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be um bolting this to the uh dropout itself um, this motor doesn't really create much torque as the ones that you see over here with the QS273 and the QS205. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more adequate. Um, and Jacoy, he's pretty light and everything, so he pretty won't be um, needing uh, a whole lot of security on this uh, dropout. But it's real tight, and it, it's gonna it's gonna do him real good. So, anyways, we're gonna be uh, getting the spaces right on the. Um, the road and everything also the battery we're going to be going with a 16s five piece setup um his other bike was a 16s four piece setup so we're trying to get a little more range out of it and we're going to be using uh, some good cells the, the same cells that's in these two bikes right here um they're they're decent they're on uh, 2500 million hours per cell i really don't know how much uh the, the amp discharge per cell is but I know they're real good and they're doing those bikes so they're pretty decent. So we're going to be mounting this um, on the bottom tube right here. The control is going to be in the middle. We're also going to have the uh, UKC1 display mounted right here. It's going to be the same 80 amp controller as it was in this other bike. So it's going to be plenty peppy. Um, and this is going to be his means of transportation to school. Now in the future updates, we're going to be updating his seat uh, to a more comfortable one. We're going to be updating the front fork to a Hamato um, fork as you can see on these two bikes right here it's gonna be a 20 inch fat four uh, Hamato fork so um, that, that's gonna be um, I'm pretty much gonna be in a couple of weeks we're gonna I'm gonna be ordering that fork and uh, also we're gonna be getting rid of these uh, cable brakes right here and we're gonna be putting some hydraulics on here um, probably some zoom hydraulics not the cable ones we're gonna go full hydraulics on this one so let's come on over here and see what we got going on and as you can see I got them and see, I got the motor in here nice and tight. I had to use some spacers um, for to secure the motor to the dropouts. So I got um, spacers right there. Um, it's nice and tight. I got a torque arm right here. Not gonna be bolting right here. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna get this uh, spacing right so we can mount this uh, uh, caliber onto this here on the bike. And as you can see, here's the spacers. Now I had got these. Now these came off the original bike. And these are the 15 millimeters nuts they're um they're too big i tried those out so we're going to go ahead and discard them and we're going to go with these 13 millimeters right here and these came off his old seat post and these are just right so we have those and then we're going to have some eights and these are metric these are uh, 1.5 pitch and we're going to be using these to secure the brakes on the dropout so let me get back with you in a few minutes all right so as you can see we have adequate spacing for the caliber in the uh, rotor so as you can look right here look at that love when the plan goes right those little nuts right there was just the right amount of spacing and it was if it was over a little bit to the right or to the left we can adjust it by moving the caliber itself you know what I'm saying? because it has little slots on the caliber or we could have just um uh, reduced the nut you know we could have just um do a little bit of grinding or or whatever so now the controller won't be until friday i mean thursday so what we're going to be doing we're going to be working on 
the handlebars. So we're gonna go ahead and taking this stuff off. We're gonna take, let me show you. So I see a lot of people still retains the twist shifter. There's really nothing wrong with this twist shifter. But the only thing is that my son can't really uh, grab his hands on the shifter to actually shift up from high to low. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be adding a trigger shifter. A lot of people that I see actually leave this on and scoot it a little bit to the left, and then they have no hardly no room to add other stuff on it. So we're gonna be removing this. We're gonna be adding a trigger shifter, and we're gonna be adding the uh, throttle, and then we're gonna be adding the brakes cutoff switch because we're gonna be taking these off, and we're gonna be adding the brake cutoff switch. Um, that's a must. I, I'm gonna have them on all my bikes, uh, no matter what. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. And then once we get all this stuff, we're gonna go ahead and um, run this uh, cable down and we're gonna go ahead and tie it up for a little bit until the controller gets here and then we'll do our final um, preparation. So anyways, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get this off. Take that off, we're gonna add, this, I brought a Shimano Twitter sh uh, trigger shifter and I'm gonna go show you right now. So let me show you what I was talking about. So, like I was saying, we're gonna be replacing this Shimano twist shifter with an actual Shimano, like a trigger shifter. So, and this was the one he had on this other bike, and, and this one right here uh, shifts real good, and he's able to shift um, his bike into lower gears and higher gears. So, also, too, um, hang on the brake levers. Now, these I order separate. Now, sometimes you get these on um, the, the little, the long levers that come in a kit. These are, um, a smaller form factor they're almost exactly the same as the one that's on his on um, bike right now so we're gonna be um, putting these on and his throttle I ordered it separate too it's like mine that's on my bike right here I like these throttles they're more unique um, they don't um, the other ones that come in the kit they fine though but they just they just um they look cheap and, and just plain looking so we uh, went, ahead, went ahead and got these so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be putting all them, all them electronics right there, the, the, the brake levers and the throttle. Uh, we're gonna be um, getting all this stuff off and we're replacing all this stuff right here. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we had replaced the uh, twist shifter down here with the with a trigger shifter. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit better for um, for e bike kid to ride his bike. Also, we had um, got the throttle on. We also got the brakes. So we got the brakes um, on now. Now the thing is, now I couldn't move the trigger shifter further to to the left because of the fact that if you look, there there there's an Allen screw between the brakes. That's actually, yeah, you can go ahead. Um, that like this one right here, and it's sticking out so far. So I might have to um I might have to do something with that. Uh, maybe maybe grind it down a little bit in order for this uh, shifter to go further back because now the, the the handle the handle I wanted the handle to be closer to the throttle as possible. Um, now what I can do I might can switch the shifter over and the brakes. Ah, good idea. Let me try that. Okay, I swapped it around everything. <laughs> so we got the brake before the um, before the throttle. And then the shifter before the break and i that's that's perfect I, I don't know what i was doing and he can still reach the shifter if he wants to with his little hands and then the brake is in reach so that's what i want that's what i was more concerned about is that he won't be able to press the brakes if he needs to and all in all it's looking real good and the hub well, now believe it or not it's a 1500 watt but it looks almost like a 3000 watt it, the, to be honest with you I mean, it's a pretty big hub motor for for 1500 watt, and and it's an MVP, MV power. So there we go. So I don't know, y'all. It's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a nice ride for him. And I got the tires on a little a little bit of cushion right there. I don't want them too much. And uh, okay, so tomorrow what we're gonna be doing is. We're gonna be drilling this, uh, drilling this out, so that way we get a bolt through here, tighten it up real good, and one for the other side. And tomorrow we're going to, to be making the batteries, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um, um, do the batteries. We're going to uh, glue them together, 
I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do either nickel plate, nickel strips, and copper over it, or just do plain copper. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, um, but control is gonna go in the middle. I know the battery is gonna go up on here, and I'm probably gonna be welding something up on here to kind of give the battery something to rest on with some cushion, so that way the battery doesn't slide down when he's on um, going. And then I'm gonna have some Velcro right here, so way when we can strap the battery in, it won't be. Uh, going all the place so um, that's what I'm gonna be doing also I'm gonna be putting his light up I might um, I'm gonna try to put it right here or probably right here and then this the the, um, the MB power the little switch the UKC one display the little switch probably mount it uh, probably mount it here and then the light yeah that's what I'm gonna do that so all in all it's coming coming together y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and um cut it for the day and i will get back with y'all tomorrow welcome to part two about this 1500 watt e-bike build this is your boy the e-bike guy and now here we are we is going to make a bracket down here where this bottom bracket at we're going to make a little little um i guess you're going we're going to have like like a holding bracket so that way the battery can rest assured on that bracket we got velcro to make sure it's going to be scrapped in so we're going to be putting velcro down here on this bottom too so that battery can be uh, mounted right there and it'll stay put and also we have the welder the welder we have the metal over there so what i gotta do now is i got the battery and we're going to be putting this battery down under like so and I think we're gonna be putting it like this. What do you think? What do you think, you bike kid? I think we put it. I think we're, we gotta move it up about right there. Yeah. We gotta move it up right there. Let me so what? Huh? Let me record for you. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, what uh, I'm saying, what I'm saying is we're gonna be mounting the battery like right here. I, that's what the mount the. Uh, that's what we're gonna be welding the bracket on, so that way the battery can rest against the. Uh, a bracket here and we're gonna um and that way we're gonna zip tie right here but it's gonna have velcro also holding the battery in too so that's what we're gonna be doing today is that we're gonna be um making a bracket right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the cutting disc out and we're gonna get the metal and we're gonna go ahead and cut and weld it right here but we're gonna have to grind a little bit also that we can get a good contact po um, point and, we are and then we'll weld it so all right so i got the bracket down and welded up um and i got the torque arms um bolted in and i'll show you all that right now uh, what i'm doing right now is actually i'm uh putting the velcro on the batteries and then i'm going to uh take the sticky uh the the film off the protective film the adhesive film and then i'm going to uh mount it on the the, the bottom tube right there so let me show you what i did so far I put so I got the torque arms bolted in and they're nice and secured on both sides so that's a good thing um we're waiting on the controller to get here it's supposed to be here today um I checked the website the FedEx website they said it was coming from um out for delivery today but they usually be here around about 12 1 o'clock in the afternoon and it's going on five o'clock, so I don't think they're coming. Maybe they'll update it or something like that. But anyways, I'm gonna get the battery mounted up, and when the controller gets here, we uh will continue from there. So I will get back with y'all as soon as the controller gets here. And guess what, man? The controller just came in, y'all. Wow. Well, my boy went to church and everything, and um, so I got I got a little bit daylight left to um to put his bike together. Besides, I got the big um, porch light right there, so we, we're still good. And we're gonna do some night riding tonight. So we gotta, we're gonna put his uh, headlight on, his tail light, and we're gonna do some night riding tonight. Now, I like this bag. I wish it. I wish that they had it where they had the hangers um, on the back side, which you see right here. If they had the Velcro on this side, then I can just hang the bike um, on the top tube right there. But they don't have it, so we wanted to just take it out of the bag and probably use it for something else. So what we have is the ADF controller. So we're gonna take it out of this bag right here. So we have the ADF controllers, the same one that we that we had on his other bike. So 
by MB Power. So we're gonna be using this, and then we have the UKC1 display. So we have the UKC1 display. Love these uh, displays right there. They're nice and colorful. And then we're gonna have these. We got these on uh, little this little junction box. We're not gonna be using that. So. And then here's the miscellaneous hardware and everything. We're gonna be using the mount the UKC1 display and the nuts and bolts. So we definitely keep a nose. So we're gonna go ahead and put the controller on. Um, see where we're gonna get it fit and finish, and we're gonna weld it up the brackets so that way we can put the controller on and then we'll hook everything up and we're gonna uh, try it out. So let's get to it. All right, man, it is done. The bike is complete. I got it on charge right now, so now e-bike is in church with his buddies and i already got the uh his headlight on right there ukc1 display is already on i already set the um wheel uh, the wheel on it and i changed it from metric to uh imperial so all that set except for the clock i got to do that and i'm gonna peel this here film off right here let me do that right there so we're gonna let e-bike kit test it out for a ride when it gets here we're gonna go for a ride to the park and we're gonna come back home and see how he likes it. So, but I'm gonna change out the seat for the boulevard seat right quick so his um tail light can fit on there. And um, and once I do that, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and test the route. And I can tell you off rip, it has power. I just gave it just a little bit of throttle, and it just like his other bike. So, but we just with fat tires on it. So, I'm excited for him. I'm excited. I know I'm excited that he's going to be excited. Also, uh, he's going to be stoked that his bike is actually running. Saying, so, uh, "Am I? Uh, I do have some daredevil." So, Kalani, come on now. I have. I just, man, I have some daredevil kids. So you, he's got to just, just excuse my daughter. <laughs> All right. So when he gets home, we are going to do a ride video.